Day 8. Letting Jesus' love flow through you. As Jesus reclined with his disciples during the Passover, his last words to them were pointed and clear. A new commandment I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. John 13, verses 34 and 35. He gave a new command just hours before his death. He was about to usher in the new covenant, a fulfillment of all the law and the prophets, yet a 180 degree shift in the direction of human spirituality. Man-made religion and legalism would soon be nullified by the sacrificial death of Jesus, the ultimate act of love. Love is the new standard. By this new command, is it just a new thing we must do? A new burden to carry? Not if you look at the context and Jesus' prayer that follows. I've made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and that I myself may be in them. John 17 verse 26. At the very end of the discourse, Jesus says that it will be his love in us that will distinguish us as his disciples. He is in you. His love fulfills this new command to love others. It's not up to you to do this in your own flesh. He does it through you. God of love, the Son showed me the Father's love on the cross. By the Spirit, stare at the genuine love for you that you created within me. I do love you. Your love is real and you've placed it in me. May it flow through me, Jesus. This is beyond me, yet I ask that you make it real in my heart, mind, today. Amen.